guys, San Francisco Corn Man back with another video. All right, so there's not going to be a sweet corn history segment for this video. I didn't really find anything that caught my interest, but there's going to be one for 1812, and that's going to be the War of 1812. Um, so the presidential election of 1808 lasted from November 4th, 1808, to December 7th, 1808. There were 175 electoral votes, and 88 electoral votes were needed to win, as one elector did not vote. President Thomas Jefferson, following with George Washington's two-term precedent, declined to run for a third term and instead chose to retire. Therefore, the Democratic Republicans needed a new nominee. The Democratic Republican candidates for presidential nominee were Vice President George Clinton of New York, Secretary of State James Madison of Virginia, and former Minister to Great Britain James Monroe, of also of Virginia. The caucus voted accordingly. Three votes for Monroe, three votes for Clinton, and 83 votes for Madison. For the party's vice presidential nominee, the candidates were Vice President George Clinton of New York, Secretary of War Henry Dearborn of Maine, Governor of New Hampshire, John Langdon, and U.S. Senator John Quincy Adams of Massachusetts. For the vice presidential vote, Adams won one vote, Dearborn won three votes, Langdon won five votes, and finally, Clinton won 79 votes. As such, James Madison was nominated for president, and George Clinton was nominated for vice president. As for the Federalists, this time they actually did hold a caucus where they nominated the same 1804 ticket of former vice president, sorry, former minister to France, Charles Pinckney of South Carolina for president, and former minister to Great Britain, Rufus King of New York for vice president. I've been made aware that it's pronounced Rufus and not Rufus, so I, po I apologize for mispronouncing it in my last video. A group of Democratic Republicans known as the Quids or Old Republicans unsatisfied with the nomination of James Madison, instead supported failed prim primary candidate James Monroe in the general election. Alright, so the big issue of the day was Thomas Jefferson's Embargo Act of 1807, which Jefferson signed to protect American neutrality in the Napoleonic Wars. However, Federalists were strongly against the act as they felt it targeted New England merchants and favored France as opposed to Britain. The Democratic Republicans campaigned on the popularity of President Jefferson. The result, James Madison, like Jefferson in 1804, won the landslide, winning 122 electoral votes, as well as 124,732 popular votes, or 64.7% of the total. Madison won the states of Vermont, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. However, nine vo electors who voted for Madison for president did not vote for Clinton for vice president, but instead Governor of New Hampshire John Langdon. Once again, Pinckney lost badly. However, this time he gained 47 electoral votes as opposed to 14. He took the states of New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Delaware. He also won two electoral votes from Maryland and three from New York, uh, from North Carolina. Sorry, he also won uh, 62,431 popular votes, or 32.4 percent. James Monroe won no electoral votes, but 4,848 popular votes, or 2.5 percent of the total. He was only on the ballot in three states: North Carolina, Ohio, and Virginia. No candidate was chosen as his running mate. Six Democratic-Republican electors in New York did not vote for Madison, but rather Vice President and Madison's running mate, George Clinton. They did not agree on a vice presidential candidate with three electors voting for Madison to be vice president and the other three voting for Monroe. Therefore, on March 4, 1809, James Madison was inaugurated president and George Clinton was inaugurated for his second term as vice president. This election notes the first time there was really competition for a party's nomination. Madison's term as president would contain a major event in the United States history, which I will discuss in the next video. Uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed and found this to be informative. Check out the Discord survey if you haven't. Link is in the description. And yeah, see ya.